Happy October. Yep, happy October 2019. This is October 1st. Excuse my hair. I've been out running errands and uh, doing things and what you see is what you get. Uh, I just did a clip of my comments from my October, uh, no, from my dark, dark October stitching video and I showed on that video that I was giving away my Halloween journal and it's a shaker front and I had a lot of nice comments and a lot of entries so I did a uh, clip and showed my feeble attempt at using YouTube's random comment picker Honest, I did it okay. It's just that I had to turn it around so I could see it because I'd never used it before. And anyway, I got to my end result and it shows the winner. So congratulations. And I'm going to show you that clip right now. It's actually two clips because I had to pause. I'm sad. What can I say? But let me show you those. And I'll catch you on the other side. Be right back. Okay, well... It's time for my giveaway results, and this is my Halloween journal. Doesn't really fit in here very well, but hey. And it's got the slider window, which or shaker window, which I really like. And I just want to get to this because I've never used the comment picker before, and I don't know that it's going to work. If it doesn't work, I will do it again manually. But I just did filter duplicate users that's the h the url for my video and i am going to push get youtube comments are you ready okay so the amount of unique comments was 28 and hmm Okay. So, I'm sorry. I had a hard time finding the start button because I've never used this before. So, I came down here and found start. And it went through all of the comments. And the winner is Michelle Garrett, Bendy Stitchy. And I know I don't have your address Michelle but if you send I don't know you can mm -hmm. that's always the hard part for me I will put my email address uh, in on your comment and um, then you can let me know what best address to send your journal to I think that's the easiest way I also put my will put my Kelly Bell stitches uh, at email address uh, in the comment box below. So, yeah, after a little struggle, I found the start button, and there you go. Hi, again, and congratulations, Michelle. I'm uh, really excited that you won. So, as soon as I get your information, I will be shipping that right out to you. Uh, yeah. This is just kind of a regular catch-up video. I um, am hoping to do a full coverage kind of parade, some of my whip, all of my whips, and then maybe some of the uh, full coverage pieces that I have not started yet, but that I'd like to. I also want to do a separate video of the kits and the um, projects that I have kitted that I definitely want to start soon. And you know, I've been shopping, so there's a lot that I really want to do soon. So, I have got a couple of clips. I don't think it's anything extensive, but I should insert them here. And so, I really appreciate you coming back to see uh, what I've been up to. And uh, my, I love that people are subscribing, so thank you very much. Because I do have a plan for a 2,000 subscriber giveaway. It's just a ways away. 
And I don't know if anyone has shouted me out, but if so, I'm afraid I've missed it. So if you know who shouted me out recently, I'd appreciate it if you'd tell me so I could go watch their video and say thank you, because I do so appreciate that. I've been watching a lot of new to me floss tubers too, and um, at some point maybe I'll be organized enough to shout them out. Just know that I am appreciating you and enjoying you. And uh, I know I've watched The Simple Stitcher and The Elegant Stitcher and Married in Stitches and I don't know, a whole bunch. So at some point I will try to do a real shout out type video. It's just I'm always afraid I'm going to miss somebody like I am today. And I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings because I enjoy watching all of your videos. I'm also watching polymer clay videos and resin videos and woodworking videos and movies. So yeah, and reading, reading, uh, audiobooks. So I'm enjoying myself. And uh, I'm really excited about that. So without further ado, let's watch that couple of lonely clips and I will be right back. Hi, it is Thursday, September 26th, and yeah, it's a beautiful day. I have the dentist later today, so you woohoo, not my favorite thing, but I thought I would come back and just do a little clip, because little is about all there is. It said that I was going to work a little bit more on Theodore, and a little bit just about describes it. If you remember, I had gone to holding my threads this way because it was a stitch here and a stitch there and here a stitch and there a stitch and that's about the only stitch for that little mouse. So after adding a couple of more teeny colors that made probably absolutely no difference in the status of the design, I finished off a couple of the threads that I had done my kind of modified parking stuff on. So I did finish off a few threads, but I can't see much difference. And I'm afraid that my hands are really giving me problems. They, it's such a hard thing to describe. They sting and they're, they're cramping. So threading a needle just is hard work. So I'm uh, going to give this one a rest and maybe later on today um, my hands are feeling better because I'm going to take some Tylenol and see if that helps. I may work on Ella because this is for my daughter Rebecca and I haven't hardly stitched on this one at all. This one is in very sorry shape. And that's all I've gotten done on Ella. So, and this is on 32 count exotic orchid. Lugana, I think. And my needle minder is from, um, oh my goodness. Joyful Expressions. And it says, for this child I have prayed. And I have spent a lot of time praying for Rebecca. So I will continue as I work on Ella by uh, Mirabilia. And she is beautiful. She's the frog princess. This is the one that my daughter liked the most. Yep. So I hope you have a great day. Uh, see you later. Hi. This is only a few minutes later than the last... Um, little clip I did. Same day, September 26th. Um, I thought I would show you things I bought at Joanne's the last couple of times I went because I had a 20% off coupon and I had some other coupons and then I had a rewards of $15 off 15 so yeah it was a good time to go to Joanne's. So I thought I would show you this. Um, this isn't stitching related so much, but I bought myself some uh, lobster claw clasps from Hildy and Joe. 
And this I couldn't walk by. This is a little black cat charm, and it's a like a, a feathery thing, like fake fur kind of, but yeah. It has a little tail that hangs down. Um, it's really cute. Green eyes. Yeah, beautiful. Then I picked myself up some beads. Now these are, let me show you these, because I think they'll show the best. These are two hole beads. They call these Tilla beads. These are really cool. And I've seen some people working with them, so I want to look up a couple of designs and try to utilize these. They look like little masks. Let's see. This has some writing on it, but I think you'll be able to tell. Now, I'm sitting it next to a staple so you can see how small it really is. But that's what they look like. And it has the two holes, which I think is very interesting. So, not sure what I'm going to make with them. But I thought it looked like something fun to try. And then and this is just three pieces of craft felt. The usual suspect. And I picked up a piece of, I think this is, oh, this is 22 count white. Ada, just Joanne's brand, which I think is pretty much Charles Craft. Seems to be kind of the same stuff. And let's see. I don't even know how I would show this as I drop the rest of it. Oh well. Bear with me. Hands don't work. I did pick up some fabric to make myself maybe some project bags because I was going to do that um, Stitch Your Own Adventure, which is a Harry Potter type of uh, stitch along that's going to start in January. That's from Cutting Cross Stitch, and that's a Facebook group. They have a blog too, but I'll talk more about it if I can remember in my um, in this catch-up video, I hope. Anyway, so I bought this because I went to potter.com and found out that I am a, that I sort out to be a Gryffindor. So you can see there's the Gryffin and the G is actually above the Gryffin, but it's cut off on here, so... Yeah, so I got some of that, and then I got the Hogwarts paper to make a, a project bag. Oh, and this is a Christmas, believe it or not, because I've got the, um, the wise men that's all yellow, shades of yellow. And I thought this would make a pretty project bag. And it's, it's got glitter. It's really, really pretty fabric. And I really like that combination. And I got this to use as the lining fabric. I thought that would be pretty. And then I bought this fabric with um, teacup and... Um, ravens and skulls and bats. I um, thought that was kind of cool for another project bag. And then I bought some of this for a project bag too. And it's, it's got evil spirits and witches spell. And I'll tell you what that bag, what I think that bag is going to be for. And then I bought this fabric, which is just kind of a a smoky fabric. I got this to be the lining for the Halloween type project bags. Okay, so of course now I don't know what I did with my Hocus Pocus, but I bought all the fabric to do Hocus Pocus. I bought the, not the fabric, the floss. But I'll show you that too in this video. 
Um, and I thought I would also show you this because I've decided that when I reach 2,000, which I'm still a ways away from, I think I'm at about 1,000, maybe 700 subscribers. And I've been on YouTube a while, so that's not saying much. Um, but when I reached 2,000, I was going to give away... Um, I just said about one thing I was going to give away. But I also picked up another one of these, the DMC Etoile. And I haven't opened it. It still has the wrapper on it. It's completely intact. And I'm going to give this away if I ever reach 2,000. But I picked this up the other day, too, because I thought this would be kind of a fun thing. So, and the rest of it, the floss and stuff that I'll talk about later, um, is for a stitch along that I'm going to do with Candace. And then she's out in California. We shared a table at the New Jersey Floss Tube Retreat. And her YouTube name is um, Slub Lover. So, you really need to check her out. Candace is a great person. Hi, Candace. And I think that's it for now. Hopefully, I remember to talk about all this again after you see the clips this week. So, be good. See you later. Hi, and it is Friday, September 27th. It's kind of late. I haven't had any stitching time so far today, and I only got a little bit in yesterday. And I was working on Ella. And that's as far as I got. I think I did more of this light yellow and I was coming up and working on some of that mustard color. So, yeah, not a lot of stitching time, but not too bad. And I think I'm going to put her away and I'm going to work on Vixen. This is a Nora Corbett design and it's one of the uh, Christmas Courier series. I've already done Rudolph and now I'm working on Vixen. So later if I get a chance I'm going to work on a little bit more of the reindeer. Maybe I'll try to get his, her fourth leg in. That would be a good thing. Um, and this is on an opalescent Ada that I dyed myself. Okay. So that should be good. I might even be able to get his tail, her, his, her, tail in. Um, you never know. But I did get a shipment in from 123 Stitch. So I thought that I would share that with you. But excuse me while I try to put Ella away and make myself some room. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Yay! Um, I have a couple of Threadworks threads on back order. <gasps> Get some of it out. It's a struggle, let me tell you. Um, let's see. Anyway, I got. some thread. I have a couple, I think Bleeding Hearts and Pirate Plank are on back order. Yeah, Daphne, I don't know if you have the Threadworks Pirate Plank, but they actually have a thread called Pirate Plank. Uh, it's on back order, though, so I can't show it to you. Maybe when it comes in. I bought a, um, a Sulky 12 count, and I'm not sure what this color is. It's like the Bleeding Heart, though, but I can't remember what color it was called. Let's see. Let me see if it's here. Romantic Rose. So this is Romantic Rose. It's really pretty. And this one is... This is a 20 yard. These are all 20 yards. And it is, let's see if I can tell you. 
Let's see, that's 271. So this one is Harvest Gold. And 1306. 1036. Shades of Chocolate. And this one is. One zero four zero, yep. Shanghai Nights. Isn't that interesting? I like that one. And then I also got the Easy Guide Ball Tip Needle in a size twenty six. And when I went to the New Jersey Floss Tube Retreat, Arlene had a section up in the corner where you could test out different kinds of needles and threads and things that you may may have and have tried. And I thought that was kind of interesting. So I bought a pack of these to try from 123 Stitch. They keep going out of stock. So I kind of jumped on that when they had it. And then this is just a 28 count white Joblin. Nothing exciting. And as usual, I can't remember what I got it for. And then I got the Tired Trio. It was the only one I didn't have. So. This was in stock and I nabbed it. And since I wanted another pattern to travel with it, because we don't want one to travel alone, this is One Black Cat's Prowl, and it's a kitten Bixby. So I thought those would be fun. So I have lots of choices of things to start for Halloween for October. Um, but we'll see. Haven't gotten there yet. So anyway, that's it for me for today. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you again. Bye. Hi, it is Sunday, September 29th, I think. Yes, September 29th. And I have been trying to clock and paint my bathroom walls which is not going well so I thought I would stop and show you how far I got on um, Christmas Eve Courier's Vixen um, unfortunately I didn't get any stitching in yesterday but the day before I got some stitching in and that amounted to I did get Let's see, her other leg in. And I had to frog some, because I've made some mistakes on this one. I did get her tail in with whisper thread. And I think the only stitches I have left right now are in her antlers. And everything else is border, antlers, and beads. So, yeah. I'm not sure. I may continue with this today. Not sure. I am going to be going out to Full Coverage Fanatics because I want to try to get 2,400 stitches in next month. I've actually missed a couple of months because of my hands. But I want to try to get 2,400 stitches in. I was going to use Simply Meant to Be, but I think I am going to switch off to um, this one. And it's called The Witching Hour, and it is by Lisa Parker. And that's just a bigger picture. It's a black cat and a candle laying on some books. And I really like this one. And I haven't worked on it hardly enough. So I did get a page finish. And I am working on page two. And it would be great to get 2,400 stitches in, if not more, um, for dark, dark October stitching. Now this is all tent stitch. But for the black, and that was probably... A mistake on my part but for the black I'm using um, this DMC cotton and it's a ooh, it's a number 12 so it's a little thick but I am only using one strand and I'm doing it, or am I using two? It's been a while since I've stitched on this. I'd be using two, and it is just a tent stitch. And I have to say, the number 12 covers a lot better than the DMC. So, but yeah, that is that. 
This is another one I may have to start over because I'm not liking the coverage in there. So who knows? Maybe I'll start this over today. Well, no, I won't do it today because I won't do it for 2,400 stitches. See, you're hearing me waffle because, yeah, painting, hooking up a washing machine, not really my fun space. Uh, anyway. So yeah, that's going to be my 12, 2,400 stitches. And maybe I'll just continue. 2,400 stitches for October will be on The Witching Hour by Lisa Parker. And I think for tonight, I may just stitch some of the antlers for um, Nor Carpet Corbett's uh, Christmas Eve Courier. And that's Vixen. So yeah. So I'll just continue on this a little bit, if, as long as I get a chance to. Um, and then I have some plans for October 1st, but that'll be my floss tube uh, wrap up for the week. So I'll see you then. Happy stitching. If you listen, you can hear the Cambridge train going through. It's uh, about I don't know, a mile and a half from my house. Sound carries here really well because I'm in between mountains. This is the Cambridge Valley in upstate New York. And uh, I really enjoy hearing that train go through. It's far enough away it doesn't rattle anything. Uh, so, I think the last clip I showed you was of uh, Vixen. <laughs> I know it was Vixen, because that's the last thing I worked on. Um, and I will show you that. That's Nora Corbett, and it is Christmas Eve Couriers. I love it. I've already done Rudolph. I did Vixen next in honor of our Blue Nose Pitbull who passed away last summer. So this is Vixen. And you can see I got quite a bit of her antlers in, so it's not too shabby. She's looking pretty good. And this is just on an 18 count opalescent Eta that I dyed myself. Lots of fun. Um, hmm. Let's see. Life update. I'm not getting as much done because my hands still hurt. But since my washer broke, I've actually decided that I need to pull my bathroom apart and repaint it. So I did a couple of short walls you still need to do second coats, but quite a bit of my time and my hand resource is going into painting walls, which is kind of sad, really. Um, but it'll look nice when I'm done, and that's all that matters. So, my plans for October are ever-changing. And I will show you, I am going to get back into Full Coverage Fanatics this month and the piece that I'm going to focus on is uh, The Witching Hour. I think this is by Lisa Parker and it's a Heaven and Earth Designs. It's an ornament size. Um, it's 162 wide by 172 high which means it's about a 7 by 7 piece. Which isn't too bad and I've been working on it way too long or not working on it way too long. I guess there's a couple ways of looking at that. I do have a page finish on it, and I am working on the second page. And I enjoy it. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. I mean, isn't that cat beautiful? It looks like my spike. It's a short-haired black cat. Our other black cat is a long-haired black cat named Gizmo. And then there's Miss Kitten and Cooney and Dimmy, who are like tiger cats a gray brown tabby type. And then there's our ginger cat called Extra, who I call X. Because these are cats, but he was one of the cats that just wanders in. I used to have one mole cat and another cat too in our history. Um, both of those were ginger cats too. They have a habit of just showing up. Anyway, I'm going to, I put this in for the 2,400 stitches, which I'm probably going to have to do 4,800 stitches because these are two over one 
on 25 count Lugana and it's just a tenth stitch. And the reason the black looks so much heavier is because I'm doing that in a let me find it. It's right here. I think I have everything together I want to talk about and then my head comes up with other things. Sorry for all the electronic noise. Um, it's a uh, number 12 DMC and it's I'm using just a single thread there and you can see by the piece how much heavier that single piece is and that's just a tenth stitch too so it's gonna be beautiful just an experiment so that is what I'm going to be doing for Full Coverage Fanatics. I am going to try to get some work in on some of my other October pieces, but we will see those as we go along. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. I also signed up on Full Coverage Fanatics for a, it's a challenge where you just pull out your oldest or largest, largest full coverage design and try to get some stitches in on it. I think it's a no numbers. I don't think you have to count. But anyway, I'm gonna pull out in the garden shed and try to get some more stitches into that. I have six pages started, no pages finished. And um, who knows, I may even just start another page. I think there's like 30 pages, if not more. Probably more, probably more like, I think 43. We'll see. Anyway, that's to be shown. And um, the other thing, this is October 1st, and I've been talking to Candace of Slub Lover's Stitches, Slub Lover Stitches, and I will link her below. And uh, we are going to do a new start. Now, I met Candace at the New Jersey Floss Tube Retreat. retreat. We were table mates. Um, and she's, she is great. I absolutely loved sharing a table with her. I love seeing her stitches. She does beautiful work. And uh, it's just great. And if you saw my Instagram earlier, uh, I did put that on my story. That today we are starting. We are going to start Tilton Crafts Hocus Pocus. I'm trying to get the glare from my light out of the way. Um, yep, Hocus Pocus. The Sanderson Stitchers. This is a Tilton's Crafts. It's a big one. 325 by 428. And I'm going to be doing it on my usual piece of gridded Lugana, which I find the easiest to do. I bought that, them their own storage box because I think I'm going to have to bobinate this, but I did kit it up at Joann's. I know I'm short three or four colors, but I'll try to show you this without dumping it all over. Turn my light back on. Look at that. There's a lot of floss in there. Lots and lots of floss. So, that is what I'm going to start later today, and I'm really excited about it. Um, I've had this piece for a while, and it's time it got to start. And I have to make myself my project bag still. I showed you the fabric. Um, I'll do it sometime. Maybe in between, while I'm resting my hands after painting. I don't know. But I will get to that too. But it's more important that I start it. And yeah, I don't have anything else to talk about. Well, I probably have lots I could talk about. But I also have a lot to do. So I think I'm going to wrap it up here. My only haul this week was a package of 12 assorted self-threading needles in three different sizes. 
and I'm not sure where I got them. They came in the mail, in a little mailer, and but that's what they look like. And they're self-threading, which means that there is a break in them up in the eye that is hooked. And I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's see. I think I get too close there. Hmm. I haven't tried them yet. Can't even get them out of the package. Good thing I don't have anything else to talk about. Let me see. Now I'm just looking for something to put them on. All right. Let's see. Well, I'm hoping you can see. The break is on this side over here, down towards the bottom. And uh, you hook the floss up through there. So we will see. I don't know. I just thought they looked interesting. So hey. So that's it from me for today. Thank you to everyone who commented on my Dark October um, stitching video. I did have a good time dressing up for that. I do like to dress up. It's probably where my son gets his um, love of acting from and writing. Uh, so, yeah, it was fun. Who knows? You never know when I'll do it again. <laughs> so, congratulations again, Michelle. Bendy Stitchy. Um, and I'll be sending this journal out to you. I hope that you enjoy it. Um, yeah. So thank you everyone for watching. Be kind and be courageous. And in all things, be colorful. Thanks for watching and happy stitching. God bless.